long have we had our last GPS? A long time. Four years almost? Yep. Three or four years. It's this one, Miss Rand McNally. Don't know the name of it, I can't remember now. Um, it has probably been used close to half a million miles and yeah, it keeps track of the mileage on, mileage on it. Yeah, it was, what was it, like 490 something yep. when we left it. <laughs> so, um, it's been real good to us. Um, we decided we were going to get a new one a while back. So, uh, we got Garmin, tried it for a little while, didn't like it. So, we decided to go back to our trusty Rand McNally. Um, this one is, which one is this? This is the smallest one, you, well, the second smallest one, right? No, it's get. the smallest one. Oh, the smallest. 550, which is fine. That one's like the biggest one you can get. At the time. Yeah, at that time years ago. And everybody was like, oh, this thing falls off all the time because it's magnet on the back. <laughs> but that thing never fell off one time. So <laughs> we're pretty happy with that one. But hopefully this one's just as good. It doesn't come off like that, which kind of stinks because I like that. But that's okay. So let's open it up. And it says you can connect to your Wi-Fi and do fuel prices, weather, traffic, road work, all that jazz. So, okay, a couple of instructions. Oh, here it is. It was pretty nice. Definitely smaller than ours. <laughs> okay. Don't feel like nothing in the hand. <laughs> you want to take this off or wait? Take it off. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Sorry, my phone. That's a lot smaller. This is like an iPhone 4. <laughs> 5, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Okay. And we got this at Love's. How much was it? Two. Two ninety nine. Thirty dollar gift card. With okay. Mail rebate. Yep. So that's nice. And if you have love points, you can pay with points too. Um, and then also if you pay with points, tax free. Oh, is it? Oh, well there you go. Hot tip for you. Okay, we got the window mount here. We got the car plug in. And this cord. So this is one of these ends, which we have. Um, this gray one we have that connects to our dash cam is also the same tip, so you can get a longer one. This one's like, I don't know, five foot long or something on Amazon. So if your plugs aren't close enough, get a bigger cord on Amazon. And it also comes with an extra bulb. Maybe that goes out, like behind the screen. I don't know. Is that what that is? Uh, it looks like a fuse. Oh, okay. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but yeah, that's all that's in the box. Um, we'll have to get it set up. We're tired of our old one. Are you gonna be sad it's gone? No. No? I think I might be. That nice big screen. Well, it doesn't but, work like it should. Yeah, it just uh, gets a little glitchy and it doesn't, sometimes it zooms out and you can see the whole U.S. <laughs> instead of just where you are. So, I don't know. It's time for it to go. But um, check out um, some of our next videos, maybe in a week or two, and we'll see how we like it. But, um, and we might go ahead and plug it up now. It's probably dead. Let's you have to charge, charge it up. Okay. Welcome. Next. Okay. Connect to the internet to register my device. Ah. Skip. Why? You don't want to register it? Oh yeah, I guess so. Okay. So we got it turned on, charged it up for a second. Um, we first got it on and we just had to put our email, phone number, and our name in to register it. And then it just took you step by step for what the little icons mean, which we already knew all that and everything. But um, yeah, it looks good. I like the 
touchiness of it, it feels a lot better than our other one because it's so much newer. <laughs> and the screen just looks better. Yeah, the screen looks nice. So what is this? Connect power. Okay. Um, yeah, but you can put in all your info. You can do keep up with your fuel mileage. You can do logs if you have one of their compatible e-log things. So which if it's showing any traffic. Um, let's see, how do we do traffic? Okay, traffic. We're not really in a high traffic area. <laughs> um, weather? Oh, okay, that's fun. Huh. Oh. So what does that see say? if there's any weather. 55. Oh. Okay, let's see. This is just temperatures. That's cool. Can you, is that all it does, you think, is temperature? Um, I don't know. I don't see. Oh, wait, I just did something. Let me see. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll figure it out. Maybe zoom out and watch, look at the whole U.S. Mmm. Yeah, it's just temperature still. That's cool though. Cold over there. Yeah, there's supposed to be rain down here today, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not showing it. We'll have to read the manual. Maybe it'll show like a radar type. Yeah, it's really nice so far. I like it. How do we go home? You have to hit the home. Oh, up here's a home button, power button, and the volume. Plug it in over here. You got a headphone jack and an SD card slot. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. You got your motor carrier atlas, calculator, calendar, check info. I think you can put... Yeah, if you've got hazmat and stuff, it'll fix your directions, the width of your stuff. Change it to night mode. Tells you if there's curves ahead, construction. Yeah, that's cool. We'll um, have to play around with it and see how we like it. Um, go back to that navigation settings and go ahead and do your half mile notice for inclines and declines and curve warnings. What did you say? I wasn't listening. <laughs> uh, do a half mile or a mile rating to let you know when a curve's coming up. See, you yeah, you can change that. that. You can do a hill, no Go engine braking. Okay. <laughs> it's better than no and a half mile and so far. Um, engine braking, narrow road, construction. That'd be nice if it stays to um, connected to the internet. Yeah. Our, the Garmin we had for a little while, it would never stay connected. So maybe this one will. That'd be nice. Speed limits, way stations, time zones, toll booths. It can remind you when you have maintenance coming up. Go check out. Let's see. Change your clock, time zone. Oh, it's on central time. Let's change that. Eastern. Vehicle type. Truck, bus, car. Does the mileage lock show? Mm -hmm. Custom points of interest. So if there's somewhere. You like to stop a lot, like yeah, a interest of Walmart. Yeah, Walmart or McDonald's. Whatever you can save those. System updates. We have an update that we have to do, but it says to make sure you're on stable Wi-Fi. So go to the navigation map and see what's going on on that. So well, we let's type in, type in uh, Dallas or something. Yeah. Oh, how do you get to the? Oh, I thought I already hit it because it was blinking. <laughs> okay, let's just hit Dallas here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I like that little picture. Okay. 
Now it's 970 miles. Is your truck loaded? It will be, so we'll say sure. And it's avoiding U-turns, waterways, and off-road, off <laughs> gravel roads. <laughs> Okay, it's taking a while. That could be because it needs an update too. And it's connected to the hotspot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. So, here's our route. You can hit alternatives. It'll find you a different one if you don't like that one. Maybe. Alright, we're gonna press start. Hmm. I like this about um Ram McNally, how you can change um It'll say either your city, the road you're on, or the road that you're crossing. I always like to leave it on city so I can know where I'm at. You can change this to your ETA, how long it'll take you to get there. You can do your elevation. Yeah, what is this? Okay, trip. So, okay, you can reset your trip for your every load if you want and whenever you get fuel it's got the speed limit i like that too the garmin didn't have that um your eta when you're gonna get there the time and i like this too the sunrise and sunset i always look at those whenever i start driving so i know when the sun's coming up and yeah current legs got the date and your current speed. And yeah. go ahead and do the, like if you're driving down the road and you need to find a truck stop real quick. Okay, so, what is this? Next exit. Mm. Ooh, route overview. I like to look at this to make sure it's going this, the way that I want to go. This little map. The garment we had, I could never figure out how to get to this map and it drove me nuts. <laughs> okay, where do you um, search? Hmm. Might be that. It must be. Hopefully. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Well, this is just, yeah, this is telling your upcoming exits and that they've got three restaurants, two ho three hotels, two gas stations. Hmm, I'll have to figure that out, see if we can look up just truck stops. Guess. Yeah, that's different than the one we have. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, that's our, one of our best favorite things. Yeah. Maybe we can save, like, um, yeah. a point of interest for truck stops, and it'll pop up right here. We can just hit it. We'll have to play around with that. Let's see. Yeah. Anything else you want to see? You can add a stop. Avoid a route. I guess that'd be it. Yeah, that's pretty much everything it does. Um, I like it so far. It looks good. I like the screen feel. But, um, yeah, uh, like I said, watch one of our other videos sometime soon. We'll say if we like it or not, or if we wish we had kept the one we had. <laughs> okay, so we figured out <laughs> our search issue. So on our other GPS, all you do, there's a little uh, magnifying glass at the top. You just hit search. You can hit travel centers or uh, parking and like rest areas. 
So I really liked that about that because it was super easy to find somewhere to stop. So on here, this one, you have to hit the this little route button and add a stop. And then you can hit your things. So this is how it looks on our last GPS. So you can do travel centers. It'll bring up all your truck stops along your route. Or you can change it to nearby if you want to go off your route a little. But um, you can do truck parking, which is going to be rest areas and, you know, just truck parking lots. And um, shops, cat scales, way stations all that jazz shopping restaurants we don't really do anything other than truck stops and uh, truck parking but yeah that's one of our favorite things just because it's easy to get to while you're driving so glad we found that and I still have that as a feature so that's all <laughs> but thanks for watching uh, give it a thumbs up and share this video so other people can see it